Okay, guys, join me to fix this DIY work clock. I believe we all know about it. So it never occurred to me to record this video, but as I was already on it, I was like, okay, let me record how I fix this. So first of all, I measured the wall, then fix. There is something white on the wall already. So I fixed it. Then I'm, I was trying to hang the round black something. <coughs> I was trying to hang it on the already fixed something on the wall so when i was hanging it i had to mark to see to be sure that uh, when i'm hanging it that that is where it's going to attach so i have to mark the middle of the wall then here I show you guys i've already fixed my battery then I use pencil to mark so it can be cleaned. So I was trying to show you guys what I have already fixed on the wall. So this came with the clock. I'm going to show you guys the package. So I used hammer to fix it or to fasten it into the wall. So I I was I made sure that it was well fastened so it won't come out after fixing it. So this is me trying to be sure that it is well fastened into the wall. Okay guys, I know I Kind of look homeless but my plan was never to record but when it occurred to me i don't have to go and start dressing up to record i was like okay let me show you guys what i'm about to do how i fixed this diy work clock so these are the contents of the carton of the clock these are the numbers and the time the time letters that it came with so this is going to be the scale i'm going to use to make a mark on the wall to show where i'm going to uh, fix each times to fix each num each numbers so i'm trying to show you guys how this thing came so the the round something i'm going to fix on the wall it came with a uh, white something inside which is going to help you to fix the scale on it then mark then i'm trying i'm trying to show you guys the the minute and the hour hand so it came inside this nylon but i already removed it this is what i was trying to show here then this is me trying to fix that black stuff on the already item fixed on the wall just as i said before so this is me trying to fix it and that video is how I fixed it. So, this is me trying to mark with the scale I've showed you guys. I, I have shown you guys before. This is me trying to make a mark on the wall. Let me try to make a mark on the wall where I'm going to fix each and every numbers. So being done marking, I was, um, yeah, I'm trying to remove the numbers from the foam. So they have the numbers came with foam number, then with plastic number. So I'm trying to show you guys what I'm trying to do, what I was trying to do. So this is the foam. Okay, that, that, that was the tape I used in measuring the walls to make sure I got the wall fix, the clock fixing that set out the wall. So this is the numbers I'm trying to remove it. So they have a foam one, the one that came from a, in form of a foam and the one that came with plastic. So I'm going to show you guys how I was able to go about it. So I had to first of all remove the biggest numbers, which are number 12, 6, 
three and nine. Of course, we know that they are the major numbers. I don't know how to say, but you guys understand what I'm trying to say. The 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 they make they make they made up of 180 degrees for five degrees. Like the I don't know how to say, but that's it. They made up the northwest south east. So just get it that way, but understand what I'm trying to say. So this is me removing them. Then after removing them, yeah, I'm looking for the plastic uh, ones. I was making sure that I removed the numbers, the, bigger, the biggest numbers. So this is the plastic number. This they are just the same thing, just that this plastic one that I'm trying to remove. I'm only removing it. You have to be very, very careful because it is very, very fragile. That if you don't take time, if you, you're not careful, it might break. Yeah, by ruining your your cloak because it doesn't come with any extra just the exact numbers so this plastic one will be fastened on top of the foam one then the foam one the plastic will be fixed or be gummed on the foam one then the foam one will not be gummed on the wall so that plastic one will give you that shiny look when it's on the wall so this is me trying to remove the plastic ones. I know I have to fast forward here, but I was like, let me just show you guys how it is done before I fast forward the other ones. So be patient and watch. You don't have to be you don't have to be in a hurry, just be patient and watch. Unless you know how to do it, then you can skip. So, this is number two, the plastic one. Then I, I was looking for the foam. Okay, yeah. Here is the foam one. So, you remove the gum or the sticker on the plastic one. When you move the sticker, then you comb it onto, uh, onto the foam one. So this is what I'm trying to do. So you can see what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to put this on top of the foam one. The, the plastic one is already sticky. It has gone. That will help it be on top of that foam one without removing. Okay, this is what we have here. So I will do the same to the other numbers. So we can go and fix it on the wall or gum it on the wall, anyone. I'll do it the same to others. So this is actually my first time of doing this. Actually, my first time I got them right, so it's I was so excited. So watch and see how I fix everything. So I will go on to fix them on the wall, to gum them on the wall. I'll be starting with number one. Number one that uh, that is one of two of that is one and two two of so I'll start with it. So I wasn't aware that the camera wasn't showing, but just be patient, I'm going to fix it. So 
so you can see it how it's stain on the wall is stain pretty on the wall the gum is super strong so you don't need to bother about anything just remove the sticker then gum to the wall so as you can see it's very it's quite simple so just keep uh, putting the plastic on top of the foam one then the foam one to the wall that's how i did all of them So here what I did was to measure the length between the black uh, round black uh, circle the where the second and the mean time is going to be sorry the hour and the mean time is going to be then to the number to be sure that there, there won't be an obstruction when it will be moving when it will be ticking so I was trying to measure the distance between them to be sure that uh, the the hands that is the hours and the, the minutes hand and the numbers won't be be obstructing each other to do their work the ticking and showing the time so that's what i measured and i'll measure only the 12 the, the only number 12 9 3 and 6 the others are very small to be disturbed so this way i will do just the same thing i did to number 12 to 1 2 3 to other numbers so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so keep watching guys so here it's time to put the minutes and the hour hand because that is the main function of the clock right that the main function of the clock so i'll go ahead to show you guys how i fixed the i think the hands to the the board the plastic board the round board then fix them back to the wall so you have to first of all put the smaller hand that is the hour and you have to first of all fix it you don't have to bother where to 
which place which if, uh, which which way to face the hand because it's already indicated that the color of what you're doing is black so you have to make sure that the black is showing so when you put it on the board when fastening it it will it will fasten up it will be it will be there it won't be falling so that is you and you tighten it then you put the mini tan on top of it when you put the mini tan on top of it successfully it uses a pin there is a pin that comes with that the round board round plastic board there's a pin that comes with it then you, you fasten it you tighten it to the the mini hand and having fixed my battery after fixing your battery first without this hand you'll be hearing the tick talk so when you now put the those hands you have to be sure that it is working so look at the hand you see that it's going to move so i won't confirm that uh, what i fixed is working so i'll go ahead to fix it to the wall then show you guys how to set the time and voila your clock is ticking is working tick tock tick tock so the time was 11 21 when i finished we had to wait for it to get to 11 30 so i will fix the hand well so this is what i'm trying to do so that's it guys your clock is working it's quite simple just get it and try it yourself hope you enjoyed the video bye guys is not clock working bye